friends. I thought I'd read to you today from one of my favorite books called A Bargain for Francis. This story is by Russell Hoban and the pictures or the illustrations are drawn by Lillian Hoban. Would you like to hear it? Great. Bargain for Francis. It was a fine summer day and after breakfast, Francis said, I'm going to play with Thelma. Be careful, said mother. Why do I have to be careful, said Francis. Remember the last time, said mother? Which time was that, said Francis. That was the time you played catch with Thelma's new boomerang, said mother. Thelma did all the throwing and you came home with lumps on your head. I remember that time now, said Francis. And do you remember the other time last winter, said mother? I remember that time too, said Francis. That was the first time there was ice on the pond and Thelma wanted to go skating and she told me to try the ice first. Who came home wet, said mother, you were Thelma. I came home wet, said Francis. Yes, said mother, that is why I say be careful because when you play with Thelma, you always get the worst of it. Well, said Francis, this time I do not have to be careful. We are not playing with boomerangs. We are not skating. We are having a tea party and we're making a mud cake. Be careful anyhow, said mother. All right, said Francis. Francis took her dolls to Thelma's house. She took her alligator doll, her elephant doll. She took her snake doll and her teddy bear doll too. As Francis walked to Thelma's house, she sang, Alligators, bears, and me are very fond of drinking tea. The elephant and the wiggly snake are happy when they eat their cake. Francis and Thelma made a mud cake. They put daisies on it for frosting, and then Thelma got out her dolls and her tea set. I'm saving up for a tea set, said Francis. I'm saving all my allowances. This is the best kind to get, said Thelma. It's plastic and it has red flowers on it. That's not the kind I want, said Francis. I want a real china tea set with pictures on it in blue. The tea set I want has trees and birds and a Chinese house and a fence and a boat and people walking on a bridge. I used to have that kind of tea set, but now all I have is part of the teapot. The rest is broken. That is why that kind of tea set is no good, said Thelma. The cups break and the saucers break and the teapot and cream pitcher and sugar bowl break. And then the set is all gone. My tea set has red flowers and it does not break unless you step on it. Well, said Francis, I'm saving up for the other kind. How much do you have saved up, said Thelma? $2.70, said Francis. How much does the tea set cost, said Thelma? I don't know, said Francis. I'm sure they cost a lot, said Thelma. It will take you a long time to save up all that money. I know, said Francis, and I wish I had a tea set now. Maybe I will sell you mine, said Thelma. I don't want yours, said Francis. I want a real China one with pictures on it in blue. I don't think they make them anymore, said Thelma. I know another girl who saved up for that tea set. Her mother went to every store and could not find one. Then that girl lost some of her money and spent the rest on candy and she never got the tea set. That's what happens. A lot of girls never do get tea sets, so maybe you won't get one. If I buy yours, I will have a tea set, said Francis. You said you didn't want it, said Thelma, and anyhow, I don't want to sell it now. Why not, said Francis. Well, said Thelma, it's a very good tea set. It's plastic that does not break. It has pretty red flowers on it. It has all the cups and saucers. It has the sugar bowl and the cream pitcher and the teapot. It's almost new and I think it costs a lot of money. Hmm. I have $2.17, said Francis. That's a lot of money. I don't know, said Thelma. If I sell you my tea set, then I won't have one anymore. We can have tea parties at my house then said Francis. And you can use the money for a new doll. Well, maybe, said Thelma. Do you have the money with you? I'll run home for it, said Francis. All right, said Thelma. I will think about it while you run home for your money. Francis ran home for her money. 
When she came back, Thelma said, I will sell you my tea set. Frances gave Thelma her money. Thelma gave Frances her tea set. No backsies on this, said Thelma. All right, said Frances. No backsies. Frances went home with her tea set and her dolls, and she sang. A plastic pot can pour the tea for my dolls and friends and me, just as well as China. Red is just as good as blue. Plastic cups are all right too, just as good as China. When Frances got home, she so showed the tea set to her sister Gloria. That's a very ugly tea set, said Gloria. What's the matter with it, said Frances. It's ugly, said Gloria. It's a nice tea set, said Frances. It's plastic, said Gloria. It has red flowers. It's ugly. I like the china kind with pictures on it in blue. You can't get that kind anymore, said Frances. They don't have them in stores. Yes, they do, said Gloria. They have them now at the candy store. My friend Ida got one yesterday and she showed it to Thelma. So Thelma knows that they have them at the candy store. They cost $2.07. Frances walked slowly to the candy store. She looked inside and there was Thelma. Thelma gave the storekeeper her money. The storekeeper gave Thelma a china tea set with pictures all in blue. Thelma did not see Francis as Francis walked away. Francis sang a little song as she walked away. Now that plastic's what I've got, back sees what there is not. Mother told me to be careful, but Thelma better be beware-ful. Frances thought about no backsies all the way home. When she got home, she put a penny in the plastic bowl of her tea set, plastic sugar bowl of her tea set. Then she called Thelma on the telephone. Hello, said Thelma. Hello, said Frances. This is Frances. Remember, said Thelma, no backsies. I remember, said Frances, but are you sure you really want no backsies? Sure, I'm sure, said Thelma. You mean I never have to give back the tea set, said Frances. That's right, said Thelma, you can keep the tea set. Can I keep what's in the sugar bowl too, said Frances? What's in the sugar bowl, said Thelma. Never mind, said Frances, no backsies, goodbye. And Frances hung up. Frances waited for the telephone to ring, and when it rang, she said, Hello. Hello, said Thelma. This is Thelma. I know, said Frances. I, I just remembered, said Thelma. I think I had something in the sugar bowl. I think it was a ring. Did you find a ring? No, said Frances. And I don't have to tell you what's in the sugar bowl because you said no backsies. Well, said Thelma, I just remembered that I put some money in the sugar bowl one time. I think it was some birth birthday money. I think it was $2, or maybe it was $5. Did you find money? You said no backsies, said Francis, so I don't have to tell you. I don't have to say how much money's in the sugar bowl. Well, said Thelma, it is my money and I want it. Do you want backsies, said Francis? Do you want your tea set back and you will give me my money back? I can't, said Thelma, because I used the money for a new tea set. There's only a dime left over. I will give you the new tea set in a dime. The new tea set is the china kind you want. It has pictures all in blue. You said they don't make that kind anymore, said Francis. This one was very hard to find, said Thelma, and I think it was the very last one in the store. All right, said Francis, bring it over. Thelma brought over the china tea set and the dime, and Francis gave back the plastic tea set. Then Thelma took the lid off the sugar bowl and saw the penny. That is not a very nice trick to play on a friend, said Thelma. No, said Francis, it is not. And that was not a nice trick you played on me when you sold me your tea set. Well, said Thelma, from now on, I will have to be careful when I play with you. Being careful is not as much fun as being friends, said Francis. Do you want to be careful or do you want to be friends? I want to be friends, said Thelma. All right, said Francis, and I will give you halvesies on the dime. Francis and Thelma went to the candy store with the dime. Francis bought bubble gum, and Thelma bought 
lifesavers. Then they went back to Francis' house to skip rope. Gloria came out too to turn the rope and skip too. You and Gloria can skip first, said Francis to Thelma. I will go last. Thelma skipped first, then Gloria. Then Francis skipped and she sang. One for plastic, two for china, three for yours, and four for mina, five for six, and five for tea, and six for cakes, seven for elephants, eight for snakes. Nine's a trip to the candy store, then comes ten, and ten skips more. Back sees one, back sees two, back sees are no fun to do. Careful once, careful twice, being careful isn't nice. Being friends is better. Then Francis and Thelma shared their bubble gum and lifesavers with Gloria. The end. There's lots more Francis books that I will be reading you, but this is one of my favorites. Now, if you're at home and you have a tea set, or even if you don't have a tea set, you can use other things to pretend. While I was reading, you may have seen something behind me. You did? This is a teapot shaped like a kitty. And there's a little hat that comes off. Now, there's nothing in my tea set, but sometimes it's fun to pretend. So I have a cup here that has Little Miss Muffet. If you know Little Miss Muffet, say it with me while I pour myself some tea. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Pour a little more tea. If it's hot, make sure you remember to blow on it. Cheers. Thank you for listening to my story.